Today we're gonna take a look at a great online render platform. The surface is similar to Keyshot, only better. Or is it? Well, it's more of a cloud-based editor where you can render your scenes and animations on the cloud with no expensive hardware requirements. And you can use it on any device, whether it be a desktop, a laptop, or any operating system, whether it be Windows, Mac, or whatever it might be. We're gonna see how this service can save you a lot of time when rendering your scenes, in addition to products and animations, and how it will allow you to do so much more in your work. So get ready to discover its incredible capabilities as we discuss it in detail. We're talking about Titopia, which is a digital online rendering service that you can use right out of the comfort of your browser. In fact, Titopia reached out to us and asked to review their online rendering service and that's what we're gonna do today. And although this video is sponsored by Titopia, everything said in this review is gonna be our opinion because transparency is our first priority. So, the website slash online application looks like Keyshot when it comes to its rendering speed. The website is promising up to three times the speed of mainstream rendering, and also it offers affordable and flexible plans. Furthermore, you're not gonna need to install anything as everything is handed on the cloud. You only need to launch your browser and access Titopia's website, although you might wanna make sure that the internet is reliable. Again, you don't need a massive rig to take advantage of the cloud GPU path tracing rendering service, which Titopia provides, obviously. Actually, the service is made specifically for people with low-end PCs without a dedicated high-end GPU card or top-of-the-line Mac chips and people who want to save and achieve faster and more realistic renders. Now, on the actual Titopia website, if you scroll down, you can check some of the key services and features they provide, such as Cloud GPU Path Tracing and a Material Graph Editor, where you can use a node-based material workflow to create procedural materials. Additionally, you'll be able to adjust lighting on your projects using different types of physical lights, including areas, points, and spotlights. You can also use HDRI and physical skies for realistic lighting effects. Another great service offered is Asset Libraries, where you can get access to a wide variety of materials and models at your fingertips. These assets can be easily dragged and dropped onto your models and materials, covering the whole spectrum from metal to plastic to glass to everything else in between. For models, you can get things like customer electronics, furniture, and so on. And the best part is, you don't have to download anything because everything is happening in the cloud. By the way, AI denoising is another feature that caught my attention as it helps you reduce rendering time without compromising image sharpness. Speaking of saving time, the Cloud Render queue works amazingly well as you can submit your videos and animations with multiple cameras with just only one click and you can keep working on your projects. There are also animation presets and a powerful post-processing system. So needless to say, the website is jam-packed with features that should make your life easier when rendering your product designs, animations, or anything else of this nature. Take a glance at some of the juicy projects and renderers they have in their library, where you can open any project in the library and inspect each element and learn. But most importantly, you can take a look at what the engine is capable of. For me, this looks like magic, and I think the future of computer graphics is gonna be on the cloud, as gaming is already there. Now, the only thing that concerns me in the future is pricing and accessibility. Although I'm sure we'll figure this thing out, because we are making a lot of progress recently in technology, specifically in the CG industry. Now, let's see what's under the hood of Titopia. Once you sign up to Titopia, you can access the workspace by clicking on the big blue Get Started Free button. Here you can see only your projects listed if you have uploaded models or created new files. The render section has all of your previous renders. Template is where you will see all the stunning projects that you can open and inspect each element and learn. So we have Billing. Here you can upgrade your free trial to Pro. And I guess this is a good time to talk about Titopia's pricing. As the making of this video, 
You will be charged $39 a month for the pro subscription, but you also have a weekly pass where you can pay a weekly fee of $12 which if you are not rendering every single day, then I think this might be good for a lot of artists. However, if you choose to pay annually, you will be saving yourself 50% so you can weigh your options. Now, it is true that this service is not that cheap. However, it is reasonable when you take a look at the other competitors with the same services. But the good thing is you have a month to try it with 600 minutes of queue capacity, which I'm assuming is render time and not waiting time, so you have plenty of time to try the service. We are actually getting ahead of ourselves, so let's see where you're gonna spend most of your time in Titopia, which is the editor. Titopia's editor draws a lot of similarities to Keyshot, but unlike Keyshot, the real-time rendering is extremely fast, which means you can preview your work actively while working. If we take a look at the workspace, you will get what you expect. You have the viewport in the middle, and to the left you will have all the assets, materials, models, lighting presets and animations, and on the right you have multiple tabs which include the outliner, material tab, environment, camera and animation. These can be different depending on what you are actively selecting, for instance the material tab. At the top you have multiple buttons for adding lights, cameras, and different primitive objects. And you can also make sure your internet is good or not by looking at this icon right here. On the top right corner, you can see render queue, and you can of course submit your scene for rendering. At the bottom, there is a button for switching the denoiser on and off, and a few other handy shortcuts like changing the transform gizmos workspace, aligning view to the selected object, and or picking the viewport camera as well as a field to pick your render resolution. You can easily manipulate objects using the 3D gizmos, things like scale, move, and rotate. But the best thing I found using Titopia is its ability to read Blender projects. When I tried to render this model I've been working on recently, all I had to do is save my Blender project and upload it directly to my account, because Titopia actually supports most of the common 3D formats. From there you can open it and adjust all the parameters and assign any material you need and hit render. After a few seconds, you can find your render in the render tab and a copy will be automatically downloaded on your computer. So to summarize everything, Titopia is a cloud-based renderer that gives you much faster rendering speed without any local expensive GPU requirements. And you can easily achieve photorealistic renders from any device you want. And it also provides you with high quality asset libraries to save your time, in addition to flexible and affordable plans to fit your project's needs. If you are interested, I highly recommend to check the links in the description to try Titopia for yourself and see what you can do with it. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one.